Mark Benioff, Salesforce's founder and a tech icon, unexpectedly shared a video of Tesla Optimus visiting his office. What seemed like a showcase of innovation quickly stirred controversy. The robot appeared stiff, slow to respond, and lifeless compared to Tesla's promises. A social media poll showed 73% of viewers were disappointed. Adding to the shock, the video hinted at a $200,000 price tag, far above Elon Musk's earlier estimate of $20,000 to $25,000, raising questions about Tesla's direction. But perhaps we've been too quick to judge. Was this truly a technical failure, or could the awkward movements be part of a deliberate experiment? Several sources suggest that the Optimus featured in Benioff's video wasn't a fully realized Gen 3 model, nor even the rumored version 3.5, but rather a prototype designed specifically for office environments. Tesla may have intentionally limited its speed, range of motion, and even its responses to test stability in a controlled setting, where safety and reliability matter far more than speed or finesse. So, was the slow robot image Benioff shared actually a hidden message? What exactly is Tesla testing with the Tesla bot? Tesla may be testing Optimus AI language in real-world settings, prioritizing safe over fast responses or masking upgrades before the Gen 3 reveal. And why did Ben off a tech giant outside Tesla shared in the first place? Experts have shared a wave of optimistic takes, suggesting that Tesla may be trying to prove Optimus can tone itself down and adapt to an office environment where serving coffee, delivering documents, or handling simple human interactions matters more than flashy acrobatics. According to insiders, the robot in the video wasn't a fully developed Optimus Gen 3, but rather a prototype fine-tuned for office use and tested directly inside Benioff's workplace. Tesla is believed to have intentionally restricted its walking speed responses and complex movements to evaluate stability, safety, and basic interaction within a corporate setting. In the past, Tesla has repeatedly proven its ability to deliver breathtaking demonstrations. Optimus catching objects midair, executing precise remotech controlled tasks, even performing human-like motions such as squatting or reaching out with remarkable accuracy. In an office environment where Optimus is expected to become a reliable teammate, speed and smoothness of movement are not the top priorities. What truly matters is that the robot poses no danger, avoids unexpected mishaps, and can handle simple tasks with consistency and trustworthiness. Tesla is also testing Optimus' ability to integrate language-based AI. The delayed responses seen in the video may not stem from hardware limitations at all, but rather from natural language processing algorithms being run in a controlled environment. Instead of replying quickly, but inaccurately, Optimus was programmed to answer more slowly, carefully, safely, and in line with professional office contexts. When asked whether there was a Coke in the kitchen, Optimus didn't rush to respond. Instead, it wisely deferred, noting that it didn't yet have updated information and would need to check. In truth, this was the safest and most professional kind of answer, one that every office worker could learn from. Calm, deliberate, and trustworthy in handling information. From a mechanical standpoint, Optimus Gen 3's hand has now reached 22 degrees of freedom, approaching the complexity of a human hand. All of the actuators, artificial tendons, and transmission mechanisms are neatly integrated within the forearm, giving the robot the ability to perform tasks with remarkable precision. This unlocks enormous potential from typing on a keyboard to handling documents to assisting with far more delicate operations. In other words, the slowness many critics point to may actually be a cover for what's happening inside. Tesla is quietly transforming Optimus into a robot that is safe, stable, and genuinely useful, the three essential pillars for moving into true commercialization. So, what is the true purpose behind Tesla Bot's latest design? In recent days, 
Images of the golden Optimus robot spotted inside an office have been spreading widely across X and other platforms. This version stands out from any Optimus we've seen before, painted in gold, matching the exact color scheme of the CyberCab Tesla unveiled back in October. Until now, there had only been one other public appearance of a gold Optimus last November, when units were delivered to Kim Kardashian. She's considered one of the very first customers to own Optimus, and she shared countless photos and videos showing the robot waving, striking poses for pictures, and even mimicking the Trump dance. And now, this marks only the second rare appearance of the Golden Edition. That's fueling speculation that this could be the special design Elon Musk hinted at during Tesla's second quarter 2025 earnings call when he said, the new Optimus design set to be finalized later this year is something truly special. We can't say for certain whether this is Gen 3 or not, but it's clearly a new design. Compared to the standard white Gen 2, it looks more premium, almost as if it's wrapped in metal. To us, the golden finish makes Optimus feel heavier but undeniably cooler. What do you think? Based on speculation, we believe this may simply be a limited edition Gen 2 variant since Gen 3 is expected to feature far more significant changes with a fully optimized design. As Elon Musk has stated, everything is being refined as Tesla works to fine-tune the robot's design to streamline manufacturing. Musk has openly admitted that the toughest challenge so far has been redesigning Optimus to make it easier to build and compatible with Tesla's complex supply chain, laying the groundwork for true mass production. That's why Gen 3 will likely be re-engineered to strike the right balance between aesthetics, cost, and manufacturability. This doesn't mean it will look cheaper. Instead, it will follow the same philosophy as Tesla's EVS. Just like the Model 3, it's expected to deliver a smarter, more efficient design. One that appeals to buyers without driving up production costs, ultimately setting it up for greater success in the market. Right now, Optimus can already take over repetitive workplace tasks, carrying documents, delivering drinks, checking office equipment, and moving supplies within an internal warehouse. These jobs don't demand high speed. They demand stability, reliability, and precise repeatability. In its commercial version, Optimus could become a true household assistant, helping with simple cooking, cleaning, and even supporting the elderly or people with disabilities with its highly dexterous Generon robot could hold a glass of water.